So sequence is a collection of objects, is the arrangements of elements, odd numbers or ascending order or in the descending order or n natural numbers or it can be a even numbers. So now we know the value of a1, a0 and a5 but we have to find the value of a2 and a3. If you want to know the value of exact number, so you need to know the value of previous numbers, right? That is called as sequencing. Hello everyone, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysuru. In my previous session, I have discussed about recurrence relations, right? So today I will explain the new topic called sequence. So what is this sequence in discrete transformation? So sequence is a collection of objects, is the arrangements of elements. Sequence is an enumerated collection of objects in which repetition of any sort or allowed is known as sequence. Collection of objects, example, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. Collection of objects or arrangements of elements and it allowed sorting the elements. Sorting means it can be ascending or descending. So, which repetitions of any sort. So, it can be any sorting technique. It can be any sorting elements. So, this sequence allows the repetitions of any sorting of elements. So, arrangements of elements and collections of enumerated collections of objects is called as sequence. And the sequence is helpful for finding the next number. So, for finding the next number, we have to aware of this previous number. Clear? That is called as sequence. And sequence is an arrangement of any objects or a set of numbers in a particular order followed by some rule. So, in some particular order, we can arrange the sequence. If a1, a2, a3, a4, etc. Here we have arranged some elements called a1, a2, a3, a4. And 1, 2, 3, 4 denotes here we have a1, a2, a3 and a4. That 1, 2, 3, 4 are called as location or position of the term. So in sequence we can find the position of the term. So example this is the first term. And the second term, third term and fourth term. Clear? So, it represents the location or position of the term. So, this is an example for sequence. It can be odd numbers or ascending order or in the descending order or in natural numbers or it can be a even numbers. That is called as sequence. The first example problem here we have one statement an equals an minus 1 minus of an minus 2 for n equals 2, 3, 4 and a1 equals 5. We know the value of a1. a1 equals 5 and a0 equals 3 and a5 equals 5, right? So, by using this values easily you can find the value of a2 and a3. So, this type of question you can expect for 2 marks or 4 marks. So, here first I will write the statement an equals an minus 1 minus of an minus 2. So, now we know the value of a1, a0 and a5 but we have to find the value of a2 and a3. So, first I will find out for a2. So, a2 equals substitute the value of n. So, here n equals 2. I replace the value of n, n equals 2. So, a2 minus 1 minus a2 minus 2. Clear? So, now 2 minus 1 it is 1, right? And 2 minus 2 it is 0. So, now easily you can substitute the value and you can find the value of 2. So, what is a1? a1 value is 5. 5 minus a0 value is 3. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So, a2 value is equal to 2. And in the next step, we have to find the value of a3. a3 is equal to 
substitute the value of n. So, n is replaced by 3. So, in place of n, you can put 3. So, a3 minus 1 minus a3 minus 2. n changes to 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, a2 minus 3 minus 2 is a1. So, now what is the value of a2? a2 value is 2. 2 minus a1 value is 5. Answer is minus 3. So, a5, sorry, a3 is equal to minus 3. I think this is not required because we are not finding a6 value, right? So, here we have to find a2 and a3. They have given the value of a5 also. So, now you just observe this. If you want to know the value of a2, you should know the value of a1. That is previous value. And if you want to know the value of a3, you should know the value of a2, right? That is previous term. So, that is called as sequence. If you want to know the value of exact number, so you need to know the value of previous numbers, right? That is called as sequencing. And the next problem, here you have one statement an equals an minus 1 plus 3. For n equals 2, 3, 4 and they have given the value of a2 and a1 is equal to how much? a2 is equal to how much? And a3 is equal to how much? Here you have to find the value of a1, a2 and a3. So now I have a statement. Now I can substitute the value n equals 1. I will find the value of 1. So 1 minus 1 plus 3. That is a0 plus 3. What is the value of a0? a0 means it is 2. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. It is a1. a1 equals 5. And you have to find the value of a2. If you want to know the value of a2, first you have to find out the value of a1. And now I will find out for a2. So, substitute the value of n. n is equal to 2. So, a2 minus 1 plus 3. So, 2 minus 1 is 1, a1 plus 3. So, now a1 means you can write it is 5, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So, this is a value of a2. So, now a1 is equal to 5, a2 is equal to 8. And next you have to find the value of a3. a3 equals, substitute the value of n. In place of n, you can put this 3. a3 minus 1 plus 3. So, a3 minus 1 means it is 2. a2 means the value of a2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. This is the value of a3. So, easily you can simplify this sequencing problem. It is very simple concept. First, you have to understand the concept properly. Then only you can simplify this sequencing method. And in sequencing, we have Fibonacci sequencing term. So, what is this Fibonacci sequence? I hope you know about the concept of Fibonacci, right? So, what is this Fibonacci sequence? In Fibonacci series, the value starts from 0 and 1. If you are adding this 0 plus 1, again you will get 1. And if you are adding this 1 plus 1, you will get 2. If you are adding this 2 plus 1, the previous term, if you are adding the previous term with a present term, you will get the next term. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. And if you are adding this 3 plus 2, you will get 5. And 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. 13 plus 8, it is 21. So, this concept is known as Fibonacci concept. So, here we are using the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci series can be represented by F, F0, F1, F2, etc. By initial conditions, F0 is equal to 0, F1 is equal to 1, right? So, F0 is equal to 0 and F1 is equal to 1. So, now recursive relation. So, here you have to find the recursive relation to using this Fibonacci sequence. 
So by using this Fibonacci sequence method, we can find the recursive relation also. We have one statement here, Fn equals Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. So first you have to find the value of F2. So first I will write the statement Fn equals Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. So now I will find out F2. F2 means substitute the value of n 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2. So F1 plus F0. So F1 plus F0. So here now what is the value of F1? F1 means it is 1 and F0 means it is 0. F1 is equal to 1. F0 is equal to 0. So you will get 1. So F2 is equal to 1. Are you getting my point? Understand the concept. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, 13. 13 plus 8 is 21. So this is called as Fibonacci sequence. So by using this Fibonacci sequence, we can simplify this recursive relation also. So now I will find out the value of F3. So find the value of F3. Substitute the value of n. In place of n, I will put 3. 3 minus 1 plus F3 minus 2. 3 minus 1 is 2 plus 3 minus 2 is 1. So F3 equals F2 plus F1. F3 equals F2 plus F1. Clear? And you will get F3. So what is the value of F2? F2 is equal to 1 plus F1 is equal to 1. So you will get 2. So F3 equals 2. So F1 equals, sorry, F2 equals 1. F3 equals 2. So now I will find the value of F4. F4 equals, substitute the value of N. F4 minus 1 plus F 4 minus 2 and F 4 minus 1 is F 3 plus F 2. Now what is the value of F 3? F 3 equals 2 plus F 2 equals 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So F 4 equals 3. So by adding this F 3 plus F 2 you will get F 4. And next one we have to find F5. F5 equals substitute the value of n. n equals 5. So F5 minus 1 plus F5 minus 2. So F5 minus 1 is 4 plus F5 minus 2 is 3. By adding F4 plus F3 you will get F5. This is the concept of Fibonacci series. So now, what is the value of F4? It is 3. And what is the value of F3? It is 2. So you will get 5. So F5 equals 5. And next, you have to find the value of F6. So F6 equals, substitute the value of N. F6 minus 1 plus F6 minus 2. So F6 minus 1 is 5. F6 minus 2 is 4. F5 equals 5 and F4 equals 3. So 8 is a F6 value. So understand the concept here. If you are adding the two terms, you will get the next term that is called as Fibonacci sequence. Clear? So now we got the value of F2. F2 is equal to 1. And we got F3 value, it is 2, F4 value is 3 and F5 is 5, F6 is 8. This is the concept of Fibonacci sequence. So what is the meaning of sequence? Arrangements of elements or collections of enumerated collections of objects. Clear? This is called as sequence in discrete transformation. In my next session, I will come with a new concept called summations. Thank you.